This is the 76 Dodge RB that I purchased a couple months ago. I paid uh, $37.50 for it and we drove it out here in the country and we have it parked into this big uh, garage-like structure. I spent the last couple months just trying to, to get it livable. And she runs pretty good. Um, there's a lot of wobble in the steering wheel and caused a lot of uh, interesting moments when we were driving it out here. Alright, I'll give you guys a tour. First thing you'll notice, there's not a whole lot of room, but uh, it's good enough for one or two people. Two people will be kind of cramped, but you know, it's doable. Uh, the sleeping area, I want to be insulated because it's going to be freaking cold here in the wintertime unless this thing is set up right and uh, there's enough room for two people. Ladies. The biggest problem I have with this place is the lack of places to store things. As you can see, I got uh, three cupboards here filled with miscellaneous crap. <laughs> And uh, another one up here, same thing. For entertainment, I have a whole bunch of different things. There's all kinds of games, DVDs, and stuff like that, or whatever you can play. Right now, I got the Atari Jaguar set up with two controllers. If anybody wants to come down and play, we got some eggs boiling for breakfast. So, we got some coffee made already, and I have no sugar, so I'll be using honey. And the selling point of this RV was the bathroom. It's a uh, very good shape, everything's functional. Uh, I don't really use it. I use the shower, <laughs> but I don't use the toilet. I will at some point, but right now I don't. Um, there's a an outhouse not far away from here. So I usually go take a dump in the outhouse or, <laughs> or piss in the woods back there. So I don't I haven't used the toilet yet. I know it works. And here's the tent garage that my brother and I put up. That's where they, my camper is. And there's my off-road vehicle. It's a 50cc Yamaha scooter. Works pretty good. And uh, I chose to have breakfast next to the unfinished pond. Work to be done, but there's the pond. There's a lot of frogs in there right now. But uh, for now, I'm gonna have some breakfast and uh, after breakfast, I'll go for a ride. It's very peaceful out here. I love it. I spend maybe three, four days a week out in the country here. It's fun. I love it. It's nice to get out of the city and get away from work. He's eager to go for his walk and uh, I'll take him for a walk and then I'm gonna go to the to the sand pits, look for some brass and see what I can find. So, uh, talk to you later. Let's go. Having fun? He loves it out here. Say hi. He's like 11, going on 12 years old pretty soon. And, uh, yeah, he spent most of his time in the city and uh, now he's back in the country where he belongs and he absolutely loves it. He's acting like a little puppy again. Good way to spend his golden years as a golden retriever. Hey, Pasco, let's go home. I'm gonna fill up in gas and get the hell out of here. Hmm, Deer's Lake. Just chilling here. It's a good sign of what's to come. Well, I got my, my starter gun in my pocket and um, got my hunting knife right next to me. Um, there are a bear here, I, I saw before. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing this. Anymore. Yeah, as I suspected, there's not a whole lot here. I absolutely love it out here. It's nice. It smells. It's great. Welcome to Woodridge. All right, just stopped by the gas station here in Woodridge, along with a bunch of other people apparently, and I uh, pick up a chocolate bar and a uh, drink. So I'm just gonna go chill in the park for a minute, have a snack, and continue on my way. It's about time to move on out. You can see how quickly all the roads turn to shit in this area. At this point the road's just getting worse. I guess that tractor just cuts us through for logging or something. I don't know. But um, this is getting too stupid for my scooter so I'm gonna turn around. All right, I found the spot where I wanted to go on the map and it turns out they turned into a dump now. 
So and it's closed. Look how perfect that, that, that tree line is. It's just perfect compared to this one. <laughs> it looks funny. But uh, I don't know, I just stopped. I had to stop looking at it. All right, I'm back. That's not bad. I take, I leave it there. Yeah. You have to admit that looks pretty good. Just some pro progies, um, slightly burnt with um, garlic in it. <laughs> and once I put it on the plate, I'm gonna use the um, the pan, the small egg pan. I'm gonna fry a couple eggs on top, and bam, got myself a lunch. I'm starving. All that adventure today and getting this camera set up really um, wore its toll, I guess. So I'm just gonna chill, make some food, eat some food, and enjoy. Um, a DVD of the Big Bang Theory. And there we have it. We have progies uh, with a little bit of um, garlic mixed in with two fried eggs on top and a little bit of pepper. Come on. You can't tell me that it doesn't look good. Come on. Good morning. It was so cold last night. Oh my god. Uh, just so cold. So I just powered up this little portable heater right where I'm sleeping right here. And uh, it worked out pretty good. I was able to stay warm. Well, it's a little bit past 8 o'clock, so I'm just going to make some breakfast and figure out what we're going to do today. Well, there's my breakfast for today. I got some shrimp, and maybe I'll make a couple of eggs. We'll see. And um, it was so freaking cold last night, I needed to put the heater on. <laughs> How old is that for an awesome breakfast? All right. We're just good. Oh, he's taking a poop. He's a pee on everything he sees. Jesus. Basco. Hey Bosco. Hi. Good boy. So he's been walking, he's all happy, he's good. Um, now here's the literal crappy part of doing what I'm doing. So I'm currently not taking craps in my camper yet until I figure out how to dispose of it in that thing from here with a hose or so, I don't know. We haven't figured that out yet. So, <laughs> so what I have to do, I have to drive in the middle of town and do my business. So it's kind of a shitty situation, but it is what it is, and I'll be right back. There's my outhouse. <laughs> this is where I take my number twos. Mm, smells great. This has got a nice view. Look at that. I uh, will turn the camera off and uh, spare you the, uh, the details. He's a good boy. He loves it out of here. Ready, Bosco? Good boy? Sometimes? Sit. Good boy. Shake. Good boy. We uh, built this little dog house for him. It's uh, nothing fancy, but uh, good enough for the summer. We put the house in a really good spot underneath this tree. And um, even on the hottest possible summer days, it's actually pretty cool down here, right here. So it's pretty much the best spot for this dog house. We got a little bit of cover from rain, plus you can go in the house. I'm gonna, I brought my, my rifle, my flintlock. I'm gonna go for a little walk and see what I see. Be very quiet. Bear shit all over here. 
and it's got um, sardine cans tied to the tree. I'll put my gun down here. I'm gonna climb that thing. I'll put my gun down because I can't climb with my gun. Great view from up everywhere here. So, yeah. Some chicken, some eggs, could have some lunch, relax a little bit, and um, clean my flint lock. I guess I'm, I'm going real close to make sure. Are you? Oh, I'll take it from here. I'm not risky, I just mounted it. <laughs> yeah, the scope's not uh, zeroed in, it was just uh, I just bolted it on. Yeah, oh, come on, you can't go that close. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. oh, come on, I just bolted it on. I have no idea where it is. Well, just a heads up, if you shoot this close, it'll go like really deep in the target, so yeah, well. uh, hard to pull out. Trust me. I, I got the puller here at least. Okay, just put it right in the center and see what you get. Hey Bosco. We got him out of the way so he doesn't so we don't hit him. <laughs> he doesn't like it too much, but be good, be good. You're okay, you're okay. Here's our custom backstop, just a piece of wood. <laughs> With like a brick and a barrel to hold in place. It works. It works. See how that arrow's spinning? Yeah. What do you think? Not like it. Do you see it? I'm sure it's on there, but. Don't mind that liberal sign over there. We're not liberals. It just came with the place. <laughs> yeah, we really should put that in the fire. You want to do that now? Yeah, I'll do that. Let's do that now. These signs came with the place, so we're going to rip it off and throw it in the fire. There you go. Liberal. Liberal sign. What's his name? David something? David. Did he? Okay. Yeah, I'll get more wood on the fire, but it'll work. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Shit, I think bird's pretty good, eh? Look at that. Crazy, eh? Oh, That's hot. Holy oh, man! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Fucking like liberal, some kind of evil shit or something. <laughs> it's like it's like. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> get them into the bowels of hell. <laughs> <laughs> that little side. Look at the black cloud. Oh my lord. Wow. <laughs> That's what we think about liberals. And uh, Bosco's gonna be a good boy, right? Oh, yeah. Bosco? Hi. I feel sad for him, he's just tied up here. <laughs> but he gets in the way of everything, so he has to be tied up. Right, Bosco? Right. Right. Go for a walk. We'll go for a walk later, okay? Good boy. Oh, yeah. There you go. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, and I gotta go to work. Um, just make some breakfast, just some eggs. Nothing fancy. My brother's buddy ended up showing up last night, a little bit later than we thought, and we did some archery. The crossbow, uh, longbow, and his, um, his uh, compound bow in the yard. It was kind of fun. Played some darts, had some beer, shared some stories. Yeah, so there you go. That's it for the first vlog, and, um, Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I did. And I'm going to uh, eat my breakfast and get ready for work, and um, I'll see you on the next vlog.